Hello and welcome to uh, issue, issue two of Raggy's Weekly. So this is where I'll probably show new beers and uh, talk about anything in the beer industry and what else really. So today, uh, just going to show you on Facebook that uh, you enter competitions and sometimes if you win that it actually shows up. Today, I actually uh, entered this, um, it was for, a Bargain Booze did it and it was for so a Soul Barbecue. And basically, uh, what do you like on your barbecue? And I put down, I like ribeye steak with Stilton on the top with a nice glass of Malbec. You know, absolutely perfection, personally. And uh, next day, he said I'd want a soul barbecue. And I thought, what the hell is a soul barbecue? I thought, is it a barbecue kit? Is it uh, actually just a pack with a few barbecue beers in? But anyway, today it's actually arrived. And uh, funny as it is, it's actually a barbecue. So. I think it's uh, obviously Sol are doing like a promo and uh, there's your top, put your burgers and whatnot on. Um, you can see inside, oh, I'm losing my phone. So you've got a bit inside, I'm not really sure, oh there, they're the vents for letting the ash out. So that's where your ash goes in there. You've got that that sits in the bottom. And then you put your coals in here. That goes on there. So, like so. And uh, obviously the ash falls through eventually. And, uh, and there you go. A really uh, different, a wacky barbecue. I might just keep it just for ornament status rather than actually use it, but. Uh, Thanks bargain booze, you know, something different. So, over the last week, picked up a few new beers again. From Iceland, we were doing, last week, probably all gone by now, they were doing a reduced to clear on a lot of their beers. I presume there's a new range coming in. I've not been in to see. But Erdinger, alcohol free Erdinger at 75 pence. Can't fault it for that price. Worth a try. Not really an Erdinger fan because obviously it's a wheat beer, but um, we'll give it a review at some stage. From Morrison's, on there, reduced to clear out, although it's a bit sticky. Aspel cider in a can, never had it, never had Aspel cider, uh, bottle or can, so this will be a new with me, 4.5%. Uh, 59 pence, so, oh no, 29 pence, so got it for a good bargain, really. Not really a Stella fan, but got given a load of Stellas, so, hey, all good for an interview. And put the rest away for someone who comes around and drinks Stella. And last of all, I didn't really splurge last week, but uh, this week so far, anyway, Sticky Toffee Pudding Ale by Wells. Now, the really um, interesting thing about this is that recently, Bombardier has been, if you remember Bombardier with Rick Mail on the TV, um, it, that, all that bang on and all Britishness, you know. And the new bottles, if they've appeared in your supermarket, seem to have lost the flag and now Bombard it's, it's Bombardier Amber and Bombardier Gold. So Burning Gold is not Burning Gold anymore. It's Bombardier Gold. And then the normal Bombardier is Bombardier Amber. Made by the Eagle Brewery instead of Wells. Wells were the owners of this. So they've obviously sold the Bombardier brand off. But they're still making their own beers. Well, according to this anyway. Because it still says Wells on these. Um, Eagle Brewery owned by Marston's. So we read into that what you will. But banana bread beer, sticky toffee pudding ale, which is really nice. Uh, the triple opt IPA, was it double opt? Uh, it's available in Saint, uh, Asda rather. Uh, they're all still, got, still showing the Wells branding. Very interesting. Uh, if you're a fan of that sort of thing. So also, uh, clever little idea. A company called Worry, who actually make real ale kits, they are selling now their beers in plastic bottles for Norwich Football Club. 
as you can see. Now for me this is a this is a good idea, especially when uh, there's festivals on because you're not allowed to take glass bottles into festivals. And let's be fair, you don't want to be taking two litres of some rancid uh, cider in. Uh, so doing that is, is good for the, you know, for people who want to drink a real ale rather than something else out of a plastic bottle or pay for silly prices. Uh, this week, Skinner's in Cornwall launched a limited edition red IPA. There's now two new Hiver beers available in cans. I will actually get my laptop up and running and, and uh, get all the news ready. Uh, everything that's been released in that week. Um, Green King Brewery, on their new website, you can actually do a 3D tour of their website. So that's interesting. If, if you're a fan of Green King, I know some aren't, some aren't. <laughs> So Weatherspoons, they're saying their sales have gone up 2%, but they're also saying the price at the pump is going to start going up. Uh, dangerous to be increasing the prices of beers these days. Um, when we look at pubs, the old-fashioned pubs are dying. They're dying at a massive rate. Today, pubs in city centres are still doing well. Standard pubs. But unless the pub's got a good restaurant, or basically it's a pub who sells real ales, uh, or it's got or it's got some sort of niche. It was in Arnold. I mean, I live near Arnold. We've got a few pubs all together, and they're all very popular pubs. Uh, you've got Weatherspoons, obviously they do their food, uh, and the ales cheap. So that's got it. That's its own niche. You've got the uh, there's the Lincoln Green pub, little little John Robin Hood. Uh, they've got a fantastic amount of real ales and ciders uh, and music playing. So that's their niche and it's a really nice pub. You've got the Blue Monkey pub. Uh, again, they have bands on. They've got a really good range of their own beers, guest beers and gins and that. Uh, there's a pub down uh, further down. I can't remember the truffing name of it. Um, that actually sells real ales, but they also do pizzas on the premises. And so it's like a niche pub, but the pubs, the other pubs around there, there's one pub, uh, it was more of a top end posh pub, that's closed, that's gone. And there's a pub called the Greyhound, and this, you know, this is just talking about Arnold, but it's, you know, it's everywhere. Um, the old style pubs are disappearing at a rate of knots. Uh, there's a pub called the Greyhound in Arnold, which for me, um, doesn't sell that decent beer, to be honest. It's all, what was it, John Smith's, Foster's and all that sort of stuff, basic fodder. But for some reason, uh, it's obviously cheap, but for some reason it is incredibly busy. So fair play to them, but a lot of the, and that's, a, I would class that as a normal standard pub. No food, just cheap beer. But it's cheap beer, it's, but it's standard beers, it's nothing special. But for some reason that books the trend, but the trend is they're all disappearing like one of these days. So let's see if I can get any more beer news for you. Obviously, we're going to start seeing um, new ranges coming in soon. So if I see anything, I'm going to start taking some photographs. Uh, St. Austell are doing a proper job marketing campaign, apparently. Obviously, we're not far away from Robin Hood Beer Festival uh, in Nottingham. I've actually contacted uh, the people running it to ask for a list you know get a get the list of what's what's coming and uh, got a reply back quite a short reply saying no it's not available yet and that's it a bit early a bit early we're a month away i can't, I can't be too early but uh, and that's about it really um there's a cornish brewery for sale yeah and not much else to be fair but uh, next time you know we are going to start seeing an increase because obviously we're getting towards October and now's where um, you're going to start seeing an increase in uh, ranges across all supermarkets, you know, spirits, a few beers and that. So it'd be interesting. If I see anything, I'll take photographs, show you. Because if you don't go to them supermarkets, 
uh, then you'll never know. And uh, it's, it's, it's good to keep abreast of these things. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.